Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Wild Cockatiel Games, Unity Game Programming for Beginners, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can pass enums or enumerators through scripts. Now before we get to the how, we're just going to quickly go over the why would you do this, what would this look like, and I'm going to use an example here from my recently released game, Portal Galaxy. And if we go over here to the level select screen, we can take a look at one of these levels and we can see that if I wanted to design a level, all I would have to do is select an enum from a drop down list of conditions that the player would have to meet. And then this would get passed into the game window. So, so level one, the sc score earned has to be greater than 500, greater than 1000, greater than 1500. And you can see I'm using enums in a couple of different areas. Now let's see how that actually looks if I run the game. Okay, so the game is running. I press level 1. Here are these values you just saw. Earn a score of at least 500, so it has to be greater than 500, greater than 1000, and greater than 1500. Now if I start the game and we actually go into the level, we can see how these values pass into the game screen, because if I pause it, oh, here are these same values again. These are just carried over from the level select screen. So I have been passing those values around. I'm only doing it once. I'm not re-entering them here on the game window. So that's just an example of how or why you might want to do this, some of the advantages. Let's take a look at how to actually implement this now. Okay, so let's take a look now at actually how to send enums between scripts. And I've just set up a very simple scene here. We have a condition setter, which we're going to hold an enumerator condition in. And then we have a condition display, which has a reference to this text value. And it is going to receive the enumerator and display it on this text value for us when we press this button. Let's actually go into the script and take a look at what's done here. So far, nothing. So let's create a new enumerator. And we're going to call this public enum, my enum. And we're just going to give it some values. Yes, no, maybe. And then we're going to create uh, public my enum, my enum. So we can set that up. And now we're going to create, go into the condition display. And we're going to make a new method. And we're going to call this public void receive values. And this is the part where it gets a little tricky, doesn't it? So our immediate thought would be if we just copied this over to this other script, these values, we could do that, right? We could put in a now a my enum received and open that up. Oops, one too many brackets there. Let's get rid of that. There we go. And then it doesn't give us any errors, but what is actually going to happen if we put in display text dot text equals receive dot to string? Should that work? Well, I can tell you it's not going to work, but uh, let's just see exactly what's going to happen so we can go over the full thing. And we're going to make a method here called public void send values. And we're not going to work unless I save the script first. And we're going to go uh, condition dis a reference to it condition display dot receive values and then try to send through my enum and if we run this we're if i save this and run this well you can see already it's underlined we're going to get an error let's just see what that error is and it tells us cannot convert my or condition setter my enum to condition display my enum right that's because they are two completely different enums it makes it sound like it is impossible to send enumerators between scripts. But really, all we have to do is in the condition display, change this here. We'll get rid of this. We're, gonna, we're not going to declare enumerator. And of course, now this doesn't have any value. But if we just say condition setter dot my enum, all of a sudden, this seems to disappear. And instead of in this value, we're not going to receive a my enum. We're going to receive a condition setter receive my enum received. So basically all we're saying is we're just going to declare this enumerator one time in this script over here. And then we're going to reference that same declared enumerator in this script. We're just calling condition setter my enum condition setter. And let's see what happens now if I try to run this. Okay, the errors have disappeared. And let's just put on this button. We're going to Give it a function, we're going to give it to the condition setter, and we're going to say on click condition setter, we are going to send values. And now we're going to press play, 
send values, and it says yes. Would you look at that? So if I change this value here to no and press send values, it says no. And all of a sudden we are sending enumerators through scripts. So it actually is that easy. However, we're gonna take it one step further and I'm just gonna show you something quickly to make your lives a whole lot easier, especially if you're dealing with a lot of enumerators. I'm gonna make a new game object and call it enum holder, reset its position. And we're going to add a new script here and let's call it enum holder. There it is, enum holder. Let's open that up and we can get rid of these methods here. We're not going to use that. And instead of declaring this enumerator here in uh, the setter script, we're going to put this over here in the enum holder. And we can just use this to actually make uh, more values here world names yes world no world maybe world i'm obviously you can see i'm very creative with my names right now and of course this doesn't work here but that's because now we're just going to use this enum holder dot my enum and we're going to basically all we want to do is uh, declare all these values in the one script and send them over so instead of enum holder there My enum, enum holder. It, this is just going to make our lives easier if we're going to be working with a lot of different scripts. Uh, this error has now cleared up because it's going to be receiving the same value on the other end. Just have one main script to hold all your enumerators and reference and call to that same script all the time. That way you don't have enumerators declared in every little script. It's just a lot cleaner. It's a lot easier to work with and it's all gonna work exactly the same. So I'll do one more test here, just run to make sure that this main enum holder script is going to be doing its job. And we're just gonna test those values again. So you can see that it runs, the condition setter is still set to yes, we send values, it sends set to maybe, it sends. This is how you pass enumerators through scripts. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope this answered any questions you had about using enumerators and sending them through scripts. If you do have any questions left over, please let us know down in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, if you would like to try this game here that I'm playing and we recently released, it's called Portal Galaxy. You can currently download it for free on the Google Play Store, and we'll put a link to that in the video description so you can give it a try. Thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.